today's video we're going to be taking a look at these Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection classic villains. We have Pumpkin Rapper over here and then of course we have King Sphinx. These are the first real deluxe villains we're getting from Hasbro. Previously we've gotten Lord Zed, Rita Repulsa, some putties, and Goldar of course, but these are priced at $29.99 respectively. A little more than your typical $19.99 retail price for your lightning collection figures so let's see if they actually are worth the extra money because they do appear to be bigger figures with some more added accessories however is it worth the extra ten dollars we'll find out as soon as we get them out of their plastic prisons all right first we have pumpkin wrapper this was always one of my favorite villains growing up and watching the mighty Morphin power ranger television show just because it was such a absurd concept i mean it's legitimately a wrapping pumpkin but he is quite tall bringing out the tape measure he is just a hair under eight inches tall. Um, very big figure overall, just for comparison's sake. There he is next to Goldar. As you can see, he towers over Goldar. And of course, Lord Zed, even at his highest point of the top of his crown, he's still much bigger. And Lord Zed, taking a close-up examination, he has a very bulbous head, as you can, you know, identify clearly. It's supposed to be a jack-o'-lantern, only upside down, you know. Nice, nice menacing look. One thing I really do wish they would have done on here would have been fill in some black paint inside the mouth as well as the eyes. They did give us a little yellow ring around his eyeball here in the bottom right hand corner, but I still wish they would have blacked out the mouth and the round edges of the triangular eyes. I think it would have just filled it out and made it look a lot more um, just finished overall to me. It just feels like they just skipped a step even when you're looking at the box art You can see the box art has really darkened in, you know Line work there. So I think they kind of missed the ball on that one. But overall this thing is incredibly um, Just very impressive. Like I said, it definitely Definitely has a premium figure at that $29.99 price point and I do feel like we're getting our money's worth He does have quite a bit of articulation an impressive amount so much um, the head does spin all the way around. As you can imagine, you're not going to get much of any up and down just because this massive collar around his neck, which you can pop off the head and pop off the collar. It is not molded onto him by any means. However, he would look a little silly without that around his neck. Shoulders, he does have a hinge inside the shoulder, a little butterfly joint. Also, arm has been up and out. We get a 360 swivel of the shoulder itself, as well as a bicep swivel, 360. We have double double hinges on the elbow joints. And of course, we have a 360 swivel on the hand, as well as a horizontal wrist. And then upper body, we have a torso, upper torso, 360 degree spin. We have a very significant ab crunch, so here he is straight up and down. You can bend all the way over almost to a 90 degree angle and then almost 90 degrees back very impressive ab crunch the legs you can kick this far forward this far outwards and this far backwards do have 360 degree swivel at the upper thigh we have a double jointed knee which is fantastic for posing we also have a 360 degree boot cut, so that's nice. And then we have ankle rockers and pivots on his feet as well as the standard peg hole. Now one thing to note is he does have these very long shoes, so you'll have to kind of be doing some balancing acts if you're not using peg stands or anything like that because that will make it a little difficult if you're trying to bend his knees and pose him in certain positions with these very long shoes. It does give you some forward and backwards balancing, but as far as side to side and things like that, it makes it a little more difficult. He does come with quite a few accessories. Let's see if I can get him to stand on his own here. Like I said, I just talked about how, there we go. Quite a few accessories. Number one, he comes with this giant green tornado. You can use it to ensnare various things. What it's designed to do, you can throw one of these included pumpkins because it comes with three different pumpkin heads. Throw it in there, attach it to his arm, and now he's you know throwing a pumpkin and or you know, absorbing a pumpkin into the green tornado. Standard ball joint hole here on the bottom. That way you can interchange it. So say I've got, you know, a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger is gonna, unfortunately, Trini's gonna get turned into a pumpkin head and voila, simply pops on there. 
and now she's the victim of a pumpkin-headed conspiracy. We also get two more additional pumpkin heads, like I said, three in total, all used to interchange and throw on top of things. Very cool accessories. And then we do get two other hands. We got this one right here. It's got a horizontal hinge on it, an open gripping hand. Then we have a closed fist, again with a horizontal hinge. Nice little accessories there. And then we come with this ensnaring lasso, tether vine. Goes great with gripping hand there. You can grip it, use that to throw around a Power Ranger or somebody you want to snare in your action figure collection. And then we have a different one. This one is much more tentacly. This vine is just open. You can throw it around somebody's waist or midsection or around their neck like that. But again, fits very well with the gripping open hand there. Just fits on like that. So if you want to interchange them, very easy to add those to the collection. But that is him in a nutshell. Like I said, $29.99 is the retail price. Paint, everything, it just, it looks great. It just, it's missing the line work inside the mouth and the eyes. That's my only complaint to an otherwise stupendous figure. And next, of course, we have King Sphinx. Now, this is a great looking figure. Again, marred by one glaring omission. They didn't put any paint on his nose. I, I feel like that was like the easiest thing to miss or I don't understand why they, they left that off. I mean, it's even on the packaging. You look at the back of the box art. He's got black paint on his nose. You look on the side of it. He's got black paint on his nose. Again, I don't understand why they missed the easy paint applications like I want them to have black in there inside of his mouth so you can see his teeth more prominently, but you know, I'll give him a pass for that one. But the nose, the tip of the nose, why could you not put black paint on that? I just don't understand. Regardless though, this is an amazing looking figure. I mean, he is a giant bulky behemoth monster of a, a creature. He is, let's see, let's go ahead and get the tape measure out. Yeah, just like a pumpkin wrapper. He's barely under eight inches at the top of his headdress there. He's got that nice, demonic expression got nice red eyes got the the scales around the back side of the head there nice teeth and everything like i said i do wish they would have blackened in his mouth to make those teeth a little more prominently um, stand out we do get some nice little paint hits here for some kind of cell shading or some light teal on the forearms a little bit here on the thighs and then a little here in the midsection. But he is a big figure. Again, comparing him to other bad guys, we've got Goldar, he towers over Goldar. Of course, Lord Zed, same kind of thing. He's much bigger than Lord Zed, of course. Your standard putty, much bigger than a putty. And then next to Pumpkin Wrapper, he is just a Tad bit taller than the pumpkin wrapper with his headdress being accounted for. So he's got quite a bit of articulation just like the pumpkin wrapper, which is great for again this premium price point at $29.99. He does have removable wings here on the back side. You can easily take them off. They do have horizontal hinges, so you can bring them together like that, or you can spread them out. You can rotate them up, pose them like that. So definitely some really impressive articulation on the wings. Good sculpting details, nice line work on the individual feathers, nice gray wash here to kind of really make that pop and stick out a little more than the traditional gray on his body. His head, well, there's not a whole lot of articulation to speak about here just because he's got this big headdress blocking his shoulder movement. So you can turn his head side to side. You're not going to be able to really look up much or down, just a a little bit of range of motion there. He does have some pretty good shoulder range of motion, even with these armor accessories up here blocking a lot of the range. He still is able to get his arm up fairly high. We get a 360 rotation at the upper shoulder. We have a 360 rotation at the bicep, and then we have a double hinge joint at the elbow. And then we have a horizontal hinge at the wrist, as well as 360 rotation. So lots of good articulation in the arms. He does have an upper torso spin, so we can pivot it around 360 degrees there. He does have a, a significant ab crunch, so you can crunch him forward. 
pretty good ways. And crunching backwards quite a bit. So happy to see that. Legs, go ahead and bend them this far forward, this far outwards, and this far backwards. Does have an upper thigh, 360 swivel. Ooh, that's a tight joint. There we go. It's got double jointed knees. So lots of bending and posability there. Massive muscles and quads on this guy as well as calves. So he, he's definitely an imposing figure. He does have uh, what we, we, I guess we could call it a boot cut. It's more of like an upper ankle cut. So 360 pivot there as well as a hinge and rocker at the ankle and then our standard peg holes at the bottom. He also does have a tail. Tail is articulated on a ball joint, so it can pose upwards, downwards, left, right, 360 degree rotation. So that is the functionality of all his posability and his moving parts. Let's look at his accessories. So first he has this golden staff here, basic yellow paint here on the end of it. Some blue here in the middle, got some little bit of texturing, Let's see if we can get it to focus. Some light texturing around and then standard little blue at the bottom. No real crazy paint deco here. This is just a standard basic staff. Then we also get this glowing orange shock power effect that you can slide on the staff there. That way it really completes the look really makes that look much more impressive instead of a, a, a basic, you know, shepherd's cane or anything like that. The staff definitely looks more demonic this way. And then besides the staff and the electrical things right there, we get a closed fist on a horizontal hinge. And we have a open hand, gripping hand. This one would be good for holding the staff. Got his creature fingers there, nice little claws again on a horizontal hinge. Great looking figure overall. Like I said, my only complaint is the lack of paint on his nose, but his muscular, the sculpting, the details, you know, the, the paint here, like the, the gray wash the lines in between the toes here to really give it some texture and depth. You know, he's got those monster feet. That looks great. The muscles, everything, the claws on the hand, exceptional stuff there. Really like the wings. I like the posability. They're much sturdier than Goldar's wings. For whatever reason, my Goldar has very loose fitting wings. We got the hieroglyphics on the shoulders, armor there, hieroglyphics on the chest, you know, the eye here, as well as the onk around his waist garment. He's a great looking figure, just marred by some QC issues or just an oversight in general for lack of certain paint apps that would be easy overall. Regardless, I think both of these figures are absolutely must have, especially for Lightning Collection owners, collectors, and Power Ranger fans in general. So I'll put product links down in the video description box below if you're looking to pick up either one of these figures. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.